what I want to talk to you real quick about is that, um, you know, in regards to working out and everything, I've understood um, that the best thing to do is add this into, you know, do this as early in the morning as possible. So I've implemented this in regards to my morning routine. Um, you know, for me, my morning routine, that, that absolutely changed everything. Like, like the way I approach it is, okay, I used to wake, wake up really late and then all of a sudden I had to rush, you know, I rush everything, get the kids up, get the kids ready. And just, it was just the worst experience ever to start your day off like that. And that would actually be like a low point, but it will only get lower from that because you'd be frustrated, stressed out, get really impatient. No, you, you see where this is going on. So what I started doing with my morning routine is like, okay, which obstacles do I have? And I implement everything in my routine. And one of the obstacles that I was having was like, I do not have the energy to, to make it throughout the day. So by the time that I had to pick up my kids, I was just beat. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do with them. Um, and I started implementing that. And that was what, you know, was so important for me as a father. So could you share with us how your morning routine looks like? Yeah. So the one thing I'll say about, about the morning routine is it, it, it can vary. So I kind of go through periods where my routine is one way, and then I'll go through periods where it kind of changes. For instance, right now, the main party for me in the mornings is the one funnel away, you know, program that you and I are in. Mm. Um, there was a time where because of my schedule, my training had to be in the middle of the day. And then when that wasn't the cause, you know, there was a time where it could only be in the evening. And then there was a time where I tried to only make it in the morning. So I kind of use that to preface, you know, getting out my routine now, because there are a couple things that you said. Number one, when you can, when you can get your workout in the morning, when you can wake up, have some coffee, um, go work out, preferably on an empty stomach, fasted. That's one of the number one. It's one of the. It does a couple things. The reason you felt so good when you were doing that, when you worked at work, when you found a way to, to get your workout into your morning routine, is one of the first things you did. Is you increase the blood flow in your body, which means um, your brain's getting healthy, fresh blood flow. Your heart's, your everything's getting this healthy, fresh blood flow, as well as there's an amount of uh, endorphins that come from you um, getting that workout in. Right? Again, we're talking all this increased blood flow throughout the organism. Also, you feel a sense of um, success. And it's like a win for you. So because of that, it's, it's, you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a, almost like a high, you know, it's, and that's even more endorphins that are coming to you because now you feel good about yourself. You did something that you feel good that you did it. You feel good about the fact that you put in the effort and you had this kind of win, you know what I mean? So um, that's kind of the one thing for people to kind of to take into account. You know, there are a lot of studies that really show that getting your workout first thing in the morning is, is going to be huge for you. Now, getting back to what you said, and I, I, apologize for digressing, but um, uh, my routine right now is I'll wake up, I'll, I'll honestly try to wake up as early as I can, but this is going to depend on what time I went to bed, you know, and um, some people don't have the luxury, but again, this is why you and I are doing what we're doing. I can, I wake up when I want, I go to bed when I want. There's nights that I pull all nighters, literally the second week, the first week and the second week of our, um, of the one funnel weight challenge that we're in, I pulled an all nighter once a week, both of those nights. So I didn't go to bed until, like I wasn't ready to go to sleep until around 4.30 in the morning. So I just went and worked out. Um, so because of that, that type of stuff, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna come back after I work out and sleep a little later, you know? Um, other times I might just work late. So I just need to sleep because I'm not gonna get up and I can only function on, you know, two, four hours of sleep for a couple days. So right now I'll wake up, I'll, um, Check my, check my emails. I'll actually, before I do my emails, I'll try to send the emails and do things that are important to me, things that I need. Um, I'll write down a list of what I want to accomplish that day after some meditation. Um, and I will then get into handling my tasks. You know, the one funnel away program right now is that main task. Um, and then I'll get into uh, handling things that other people need, you know, reaching out and seeing what my assistants left for me overnight. Um, my assistants are, are based in the Philippines. So, you know, they're 12 hours ahead. And from there, I'll, I know me, I love to get up and have a big glass of water or water with some lemon or lime juice. 
and uh, coffee. So <laughs> I'm a big coffee drinker. I love tea as well. And, you know, there's a lot of studies where people kind of compare the two. Listen, I don't, I don't really care. I love coffee. I love the taste of it. <laughs> I love good coffee. You know, I grew up in Europe, so I've been exposed to some, some, some <laughs> really good ones. The espresso in uh, Par- and not Paraguay, but uh, Portugal is amazing. So I, I can only imagine in Spain. I haven't, I've only been to Spain uh, a couple of times. I went to Ibiza when I was like 16 and with my family. We were on the coast when I was like 14. Nice. But um, yeah, so I, you know, that's, that's really it for me. You know, it, but like I said, you know, it changes. The biggest thing is I try to take care of myself first in the morning. You know, do for yourself. You know, try not to get up and immediately get on your phone and, and check emails and take in all of this stuff that everyone needs, you know, from you, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, the meditation is, is huge. And if you don't meditate, I, I would just say start. And the app that I suggest, and it's not the, you know, the only one, but one that I've had a lot of experience with over the years is on Headspace. Mm-hmm. And if, if you're not one of those people that are really into meditation, <laughs> one thing I learned is that all these people who are living the lives that I want to live speak about meditation being a turning point in their lives. So um, Headspace is a great one. It's actually guided meditation. So like, if you're like, man, I can't sit for 10 minutes. These sessions are only like 10 minutes and they guide you through the thought process of what happens when you're kind of losing yourself in thought and how to bring yourself back in and, and things like that. But like I said, you know, it'll vary a little bit. And, you know, I'm sorry if I get a little bit long winded, but I'm just so passionate about sharing like the benefits of taking care of yourself. And, and, and again, with the routines, we're saying, well, what's my morning routine? Well, it fluctuates, you know what I mean? And, and don't be afraid to, don't think it's a bad thing when, you know, that routine is kind of changing, you know, it's, it might morph as your life calls for it to. Exactly. Yeah, I, I I really appreciate that that you you really focus on the meditation. We haven't spoken about that at all during the uh, the interviews that we had so far, um, but I completely share your your opinion about that. Meditation has changed the game for me in regards to my lack of patience um, and and yeah, just your whole mindset. Um, I I must say I've never tried. Uh, headspace it never uh, called me i i first started on my own now i do i do a, a 20 minute plus guided meditation from mind valley which is absolutely mind-blowing i recommend that to everybody um just because it puts in everything in regards to compassion and gratitude and vision and planning your day etc it's a complete meditation however if you start then yeah it's better to start with one minute instead of trying 20 minutes because you're going nuts 